Hey guys, it's Mike from Moto Mule. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a part that you just pulled off your plasma cutter, whether you cut it with a CNC machine or by hand, and you got a bunch of slag and stuff like that you wanna get rid of, and turn it into something like this. Looks quite a bit better. I'll show you the uh, easiest way I've found to do just that. All right, let's get started. Is this how it goes for you? You got the plaz table just running perfect. Everything's going good. You're cranking out the parts. And then, you gotta clean the slag off of them. All right, it's time for a quick and dirty whiteboard sketch to explain this a little better. So let's pretend for a moment that this is our steel part that you've just cut. And it's a cross section, so maybe, you know, the part is shaped kind of like this, right? Who knows, what, whatever it might be. And you're left after plasma cutting it with this slag all around the edges, right? All right, so if we're looking at this cross section, it's kind of a, a bulb sitting up on each end. And when you try to sand that with uh, sandpaper or flat discs or whatever and no matter what fancy grit you use that that material that slag or dross is so hard that it just wears out sandpaper you know faster than you can imagine so the best way to get it off there is not to sand it but to break it it's incredibly hard so it can't deform it won't bend it breaks it shatters like glass so if you take a, a chisel and hit it from the inside and just knock it off the edge of the part, it won't bend or deform off the edge of the part. It'll actually snap and break off and leave you with a nice clean edge. So that is why the chisel method works so much better than sandpaper. For the chisel action, I use an inexpensive air chisel. The cheaper, the better. You don't need much horsepower for this operation. I'll put a couple links in the video description below of ones that should work for you. You'll also need a pressure regulator to lower the air pressure so you don't end up damaging your parts with the air chisel. Again, I'll put a link in the description below to one that'll work for you. Run just enough air pressure to make the air chisel cycle. Any more than that is a waste. Remember to work from the inside out. Knock the slag off the edge of the part. Knock slag on holes and internal features into the hole itself. The sanding of the parts after knocking off the slag is pretty simple. A good angle grinder and a flat disc works amazing. Everyone always asks about my little magnetic table for holding the parts while sanding. It's the chuck off of a surface grinder. I'll put a link in the video description below so you can snag yourself one. They are the bomb for holding steel parts while you sand them. Well, there you have it. This is how I clean steel parts after plasma cutting and get them ready for further processing. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing and checking out all my other videos. Don't forget about all the links in the video description below. Have yourself a wonderful day.